Okay, we're doing the circular pocket milling exercise here at Suncoast Technical College, right, Daniel? And here we are, we're literally doing it right here. Ready to cut the second hole right now. We actually have a 5 8 end mill in there, just like it says in the program. And Daniel hand programmed this. We had to make a couple of tweaks. All right, let's continue on. Spindle on. All right, pull it on. Let's see if we can see it here. Okay. Let's see how this works down when it comes out. Because this is plunging in it. Ten inches a minute. Alright. So I don't hear anything. Alright. Hit feet hold. And turn on the position D54. Now that says positive 0.250, so that should be negative. Hit pull it. Is that above the part? Yeah, actually. Ah, I think we gotta adjust the program. So let's bail out with reset. Send that puppy home, right? But I have to edit the program. So go to edit. Go to the G13, G91 line. And we gotta change that to Z negative 0.25. Alright, so other than that, we didn't change anything else, alright? What's it memory reset? We sat from the beginning again. We'll show everybody how the beginning of this works. I don't think that makes a bigger of a deal. Alright, you can turn the coolant off so we can see better. So that's doing a straight plunge in. It was a little squeaky sounding. Uh, let's increase the feed rate to get through this a little quicker. Do 200% feed rate. So we're now at 14 inches a minute. You can take single block off. But put the rapid at 5% so we can catch it when it moves to the next profile. So we're doing a G13, just like it in the book. This is a roughing pass at the K.99. And then it does a finishing pass at I1.0, which would be a 2 inch diameter. And we have it diameter or offset. Alright. How's this going? Is it running right now? It looks like it's stopped. Oh, there it goes. That's how a G13 works. Goes around and around. Yep, keeps on swinging out. So it gets to the full diameter. Luckily, we had a big chunk of aluminum that matched the dimensions uh, in the no work book. Here. You come over there, like, you're a male, you need to be over here. And they're like, yo, she needs to be over here. It's almost done with the roughing profile. So watch it, it actually will swing back to the middle when it's done. So that's on its last cut right now. Of course, it's already machined once, so it's not going to hear anything. And uh, right when it gets to the 90 degree uh, point, it's going to swing back to the middle. Like, nope, there's still one more cut. So much for that. Right. This should be the last cut. I swear. There it is, back in the middle. And this is the last cut. So it should this is like a spring cut. Goes into the program. Alright, and then when it gets done, it should swing back to the middle. It goes back to the middle. I'm gonna go up, gonna reposition. Now we do single block, right? Alright, here we are at hundred thousandths above the part and where's it going next? It's going to speed to Z0. Alright, cycle start again. Alright, it's going to just gently touch the top of the part. Now this is at negative 0.250, right? Alright, that's cutting. How's it cutting? Cutting close to the load? Plunge in. So it's going to do increments, so it should do a full diameter and plunge down. How's that load? 30% load? It did increase the spindle speed a 
3300. Yeah, I see where you're coming from, I, I agree. Like, the male is a male. There's, there's like... They're not making any noises like a vehicle four. Yeah, like, there's right. one in a million. Uh, that's an improvement. They're born to have both chromosomes. Yeah. And that's different. That, 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 is, that is totally yeah. different. That is like an actual thing. Pretty steady cut, I'd say. And then you, like, choose, like... Do I take these hormones or do I do this? Like what you know, do I look more like this down there? Like how do I want to live my life? That is a serious issue, but other people who have when you hear the sound lighten up, then you know it's going back to the middle. Right, do that sort of crap on to that. And then it's disappearing, now it's gonna go back to the middle and it's gonna plunge again. And most of them are like, no, like, I'm going to hear that plunge sound. Yeah, I'm a stay on the P hole button. I just like what I First I time around. You know what I mean? They, they try to uh, associate themselves with something that's a little bit more acceptable. So, like, that's why they want to do this whole LTE. Back to right? the middle, so plunge it down. Like, you know, I'm going to have to go It was like, nope. Don't associate me with the LTE. Yeah, a little aggressive, I'm not afraid of I'm not. Plug anything, you know. I just want to be quiet. Let's raise the RPM 20 percent. All right, the load is still at 30 percent. I personally think we should have a separate feed down the feed around. <laughs> Probably would use a smaller tool. We could actually change the tool easily by just tool and diameter change. No, they're a minority of the population. Yeah, they should take care of themselves. You're right. G13 exercise, a very good one for actually making soft jaws. Oh, uh, Circular soft jaws is really easy to do. It's going to plunge one more time. So be, be on the feet hold button when that comes down. That made it. <laughs> Go TM1. Yeah. Last cut. Alright, let's increase the, the spindle speed another 20%. We're at 4,600 and let's increase the feed rate another 20%. Increase. Okay. Now we're 12 inches of it. I think we calculated up to 9,000 RPMs. Yeah. We already proved that it works, so we know it goes up that time. So it's not a crash situation. We did our dry run in the air.